Hey yo, before we go any further with this video, make sure you log on to my website, chinamaconline.com. That's where you're gonna get to purchase new merch. No luck, no fortune, new merch. And not only do we have new merch on the website, we have exclusive video that is not on YouTube. chinamaconline.com, get it! Hey yo, what's going on, China Mac TV? Welcome to another episode today. We in Jersey City. I decided to give y'all something real, something tangible that you could like grow from, you know what I'm saying? So I reached out to my bro, I'll be out. Welcome home, I'll be out. My brother is a brother that's been through it. Similar struggles that I've been through. And it's great to see him beat his cases and come home as a free man. So I wanted to come to Jersey City and let him show me what's special to him about Jersey. So let's go see what we got. Let's go, I'll be out. Jersey City, China Mac TV, let's get it. We in the trenches right now, you feel me? Hello? This the spot right here, this that spot where we came when I came up, you feel me? Yeah, this motherfucker ringside, clown. They got like a boxing gym in this bitch and everything, oh, so motherfuckers be training in here. Cause this our headquarters, when you from my projects, you from Marion Project, this like our headquarters. And niggas don't come out here unless they, unless they invited. Said when I was a youngin', like old heads used to bring me here, you know what I'm saying? Sneak me in this motherfucker. See, you see the sign, it say 25 and older. You right. Try to follow the rules and shit, but this shit get crazy. Look, like Mario Richards had the owner. That's my man, man. Good nigga, man. So like, he probably own this whole fucking block, actually. You know? I hope he in here. Let's go see this nigga in here. What's up? Right here, see that old Tyson. Tyson, like his main man. Every time Tyson come to Jersey, this way he stop at. Tyson mm -hmm. actually got an apartment in this motherfucker. Mike Tyson got an apartment up in this. <laughs> What you order? What you order here, bro? I ordered. I be ordering the salmon, the shrimp, yellow rice, all fire. Salmon. Salmon. Yeah, I'm gonna take salmon. that. Yeah. I'm gonna go with that. I gotta get you right with a drink on your trip. Get a lady a Jolly Rancher. You know how I do with a Jolly Rancher. That is great. That is great. Like, <laughs> green Jolly Rancher. When I was a kid, right? My first drink I ever got, and I got it from here. I was with an old head nigga, right? And he got a motherfucking uh, Incredible Hulk, the Green Monster. Girl. So that's what I'm gonna drink today. I'm gonna get the hypnotic and the motherfucking hit. You gotta be from the trenches to know what's yeah, going on. You gotta be, you gotta be you gotta a certain be type of caliber to know what you that gotta is. Be you from the to know what's going on with yeah. Incredible Hulk. Damn. This is about to get me oh, right, bro. Hey, camera, hey, camera, come on, follow me real quick. You see this picture right here? This why this picture right here, this corner right here, this is my brother, you know what I mean? My brother got killed for shit. This is a spot, you feel me? Because my brother got killed on June 30th, so it's like every day the same day. Every day we feel the same way, you feel me? Mm. What's your favorite meal in jail? My favorite meal in jail was the uh, stomach dog chopped all up. But we doing with stomach dog now with we apple jelly in that bitch. So it's like an apple jelly stomach dog. So that's in the mic, fire. The mac and the rice, fry the rice all up. Chili on the side. And then niggas making baked macaroni in jail off the microwave. Right. Off the microwave? Off the microwave. I'm surprised, I'm surprised my man Don don't even order that aphrodisiac. <laughs> he be acting crazy. He put me on that shit. He put you on? Put the camera on that nigga. Put me on that shit. Every day, man. Aphrodisiac, man. You gotta get them good old plans and all that good shit in you, man. They go to boss, man. Oh, there you go. They go to boss, man. Yeah. John got the wrong time. Yeah. What's up, boy? The hair looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hair nice. This China Mac right here, man. Real, How you real, doing, brother? Why did you name it Ringside? I had a, a gym in New York on 40th and 8th Avenue, 150 fighters. Mm. Camacho, David Moore, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so when I got the bar, the bar was uh, it was here from like 1910. It was like a neighborhood bar. And it was called Judd, so he sold it to a Greek guy. Greek guy came in, he wouldn't serve blacks or Hispanic. At 82. Yeah. If you came in, he would serve you, they didn't have plastic, it was glass. When you drank the drink or whatever, when you, you left, gotta go. It, no, he threw it in the garbage. Oh, Walter comes over, the original owner, the Greek guy, the racist, he left. So he says, Mr. Mario, buy the bar. I said, I don't want the bar. Then he would come the next, he'd come like every other day. Yeah. Please buy the bar, buy the bar. So I said, all right, how much you want for the bar? 15,000. I flipped it. So I named it Wingstar, and we opened. 
I put a black kid behind the bar. You change it up real yeah, quick. Yeah. Day one, if the wife didn't want to come, I don't go up the hill. Maybe a month, two months, the post office started coming. Most of the workers were black and, and Spanish. Yeah. And they looked like Soul Train. Little jukebox, everybody happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. how it took off. For years. And then they started coming where nobody wanted them. And Akon would come here with the Puerto Rican posse with Screw and the guys from Bold and the Fleet. And they were all, all the projects was together at the time. Yeah. The hill with Marion, no, no fights, no shootings, nothing. It's completely different. It's like like, this is a landmark in my city. This is a landmark in my state. This is a landmark in America. It's, it's like, a landmark for the people. Yeah, you feel me? It's a landmark for the people. Like, mm. this man right here is like, yeah. he, he, he's so influential to, to, to our state. You feel me? This is a long period. And I wanted to share my share my platform, share my light with him. I could have brought y'all to the projects, brought y'all to the hood, did all of that shit. But it's like, it ain't necessary where it's like, we showing growth and we showing where, where everything starts. Day one, I always gave him, no matter how bad you was from the projects, I always gave him low. Like, I don't have a wild. I don't have a chain, I don't have a big car, but I own the block. But I, started, the block. I started from zero. The whole block. But it still, it still doesn't make me, it, shit. right, but it still doesn't make me better than you, or him, any of the kids from the project. Right. We're all in the same boat here. Mm -hmm. So that's how I always respect them, that's why they came back. And the girls too. And we got the girls too, right. So taking on Tyson on Animal Plan. We did like six episodes about, you know, the birds. But this is uh, this came out on Animal Planet, and we did like six episodes about racing the birds, racing the homing pigeons. How'd you meet this, Mike? Oh, back in 82, 83. How was he back then? Because Matthew Hilton was a fighter that lived with him for three years, and then Matthew came to live with me for five years. Then we would visit, and I became real close to his mom, the white lady that adopted with Custy Amato. Camille Lee Wolf. We're getting some Asian glow right now. Oh, I know. Go out it's cool. You gotta put that down, bro. Right? <laughs> nah, that's good. Nah, maybe I got <laughs> Nah, maybe not. See, you don't even know this is here. This is a gym. This was a house. Is this the we made the gym? We made a, ho a house into a, into a gym. Crazy. I'm talking about champions right here. Whoa. Champions. There you go. Whoa. Whoa. Yo, what's going on? How you doing? Oh, oh shit, the legend himself. Oh, oh, yeah, bless it up, man. It's a big Oh, shit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. 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 Oh, Jim, you know what I mean? Hook it up. And Mike was here. Mike said, Don't touch it. This is not LA Fitness. This is the real gym, you know? This is his bag, 200 pounds. We had a made special from Everlast. The normal bag is 80 to 100 pounds for a fighter, like this one, see? So that bag would be here, and, and the trainer would like swing the bag all the way up to the roof, and Mike would be here. There was a mirror. Hey, bro, bro, suit up. Let me see that. He'd be over here like this. And the guy be putting the bag up, and then Mike step up. Boom! When he punched the bag, the bag used to bend like this, <laughs> 200 pounds, and he broke the bag. When I say, when I say break, you gotta break. <laughs> They do, they do, John. Yeah. This nigga grab the bird. This is a flight. This is a flight. See the beak is red. The real bird man. Yo. Now nah, you the real bird man, Mario. <laughs> See the, the beak on nice and red? That's, wow. that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, man. Hey, what the, what the, nah, I'm good, bro. You good, you got that. That's your word. That's your word. That's it. You nice said that shit. He said that's your word. They don't bite. You got it. 
Fed that shit like a cat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they don't bite? Nah, they don't bite. <laughs> what you said, bro, like, like honestly. Some of the things, right? Yeah, now fuck the camera. Thank you, thank you for what you do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because that you. shit is necessary, you know what I'm saying? Right. Actually, what you did changed mindsets. It changed people's like right. perspective on life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And people like you need to, they need their flowers every day. Yeah. Thank I'm you, telling you, boys, man. I'm <laughs> telling you, boys, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love you, yeah. boys, man, man. Yes. For real, man. Oh, oh, man. You stupid, man. I don't know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yo. Just came back to New York City from Jersey City. Uh, this episode was crazy, man. Um. Best episode so far to me. You know what I'm saying? This shit mean a lot to me. You know what I mean? Big shout out to Al Bial. I appreciate you for bringing me to the hood. I appreciate you for bringing me to your city. You know what I mean? Make sure you like. Yeah, make sure you comment. Yeah, make sure you subscribe. And pull up on my website. Make sure you cop the merch, baby. God.